Hi, my name is Karen Magnum. I work at Fletcher Allen in the ophthalmology department as a technician there. One thing I've seen on a, on a daily basis myself and my coworkers see patients who time and again uh, cannot afford their medication, cannot afford their health care. They'll ration their medication, maybe take it every other day, um, uh, just to make it last. The medication is quite expensive and the insurances very often will not uh, cover the medication that their doctor feels that is best for them. The other thing that we're also finding is people who are underinsured or have insurance plans that don't cover a lot, um, plans, uh, public assistance plans such as Medicaid, um, can't get the care that they need. Uh, we have uh, one woman who's 35, um, she's legally blind, she's on disability, has a hard time uh, taking care of her children. And the reason that she's legally blind is because she simply can't afford glasses. With the right pair of glasses, she can see 2020, go out, get a job, and, and, and get on with her life. Um, it's considered durable medical equipment by Medicaid, and they won't cover it. Um, it would cost her $150. Uh, that's all it would be. Um, we've tried speaking to various people in the Medicaid office to try to get them to cover these uh, glasses, uh, which they won't. So I'm very much hoping with Green Mountain Care um, that things be more transparent. Um, that the emphasis will be on patients, getting the patients exactly what they need, uh, no more, no less, um, when they need it so that they can um, be productive members of society, be healthy, be happy, um, and to take away the barriers that stand between doctors and patients. Um, very often insurance companies and the bureaucracies are, are a barrier, um, and it makes it very difficult to for doctors to uh, take proper care of their patients and it makes it very difficult uh, for patients to get in uh, to see their doctor and get the care that